Alright guys, what's up? So today I'm going to be showing you guys how to make a loader in Roblox. It's the things that you load assets that you don't want other people to edit. So first of all, you're going to do module, yeah, oops, equal require, and you're going to do brackets there, then module dot return, hold on, return, uh, no, return the thing. One, two, three, four, five. Dot parent equals game dot workspace. So that's if you don't want to have settings. I don't really know how to do settings just yet. So when I learn how to do settings for this, I'll definitely show you guys. Okay, now you're going to want to insert a module script. And what you're going to do in the model module script is click enter, then pass password equal one two three four five then function hold on <coughs> module dot return the thing argument all right so you're gonna want to do that then you're gonna want to do if argument equals equals password then return script dot script equals clone all right so what you're going to want to do for right here this is going to be the I, the name of the thing you want to clone so let's say you put in a gui so let's just insert a gui name it gui that's the thing that's going to clone and like um do whatever you tell it to to do Let's see, you also insert a, insert a script. Oh, yeah. So you're gonna open up the module and you're gonna change it to script. So you guys know what I'm saying. All right, how much time do I have left in the video? All right, all right. So once you do that, then that should be just about it. Then you are gonna wanna name this main module. Then I don't know how to script hints just yet, so I'm gonna get a free model hint. So hint script, I have no idea how to, do a hint just yet I know I know like how they work so okay module require equals worked okay so you're gonna put that inside of the main module and then you're gonna name that script or whatever you want that thing to clone but just note so that whatever you name it you gotta name it GUI I guess you gotta change this to GUI, but I'm just gonna leave it as script, so. Oh, and script. Okay, now you're gonna wanna save this main module to Roblox. By doing that, you're gonna click save, and then create a new model, I guess, and then do the thing. If you're just testing it out, just name it the thing, and then description TD, I guess. So then what you're gonna wanna do here, you're gonna highlight it, then without releasing button one, control C to copy. And then you want to delete it, and then you want to open this up, and in between these brackets, you're going to control V to paste it. Now, we just got to publish this to Roblox, and then let's go ahead and test it right now. So, hopefully, this will work. I'll tell you guys if it did work, and if it doesn't work, well, well if it doesn't work for you, then maybe try it again or something. But here, we're going in. Play. All right, just hold on. <laughs> Alright. Okay, so the require module did work. So that's pretty good. And if you guys want to get earbuds, it's free. It's a music player. So yeah. Well, that's just about it for the video. Please like, subscribe, and share it to your friends if... If this helped you making a module require, then subscribe. And, yep, thanks for watching. Bye.